Hello everyone and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan, the channel where we talk about everything Thailand. In today's video I'm going to give you a few updates. Um, I basically contacted a company in regard to my visa situation which you guys, some of you guys, advised me to do yesterday. So I'm going to let you know what happened about that. We've also booked our family holiday. Also, immigration are on a bit of a crackdown due to the uh, this week's APEC summit. So I'm just going to give you a few details about that. And also, due to high season, the prices have all gone back to normal uh, here in Thailand. So let's roll the intro and let's get on with today's video. Okay, welcome back. So firstly, guys, I'm just going to jump on to the immigration who are ramping up checks on foreigners right now. So basically, the Immigration Bureau is tightening up security across all international airports in the country ahead of the APEC summit, which takes place later this week. The IB Commissioner, uh, Police Lieutenant General Pak Pumipat Sajapan, said on Sunday, authorities are taking a closer look at foreign arrivals, particularly those who may pose a security threat to the summit. Since the start of October, authorities have barred over 2,000 individuals from entering the country, many of whom were already on the immigration blacklist, he said. Adding authorities will also monitor the activities of foreign residents more closely during the summit. Those who are found to be involved in suspicious activities will be questioned and deported, he said. The Bureau is also coordinating with its foreign counterparts to ensure its officers have the latest data on suspected or wanted criminals that may attempt to enter the country. The IB chief said more officers will be deployed to staff the immigration checkpoint counters at Savannapoom Airport, as the airport will see an increased number of travellers as the summit takes place. Now, on Saturday, October the 10th, 785 foreign migrant workers were arrested for overstaying their visa, while 1,249 others, 770 from Laos, 349 from Myanmar, 108 from Cambodia, and 22 others were arrested for illegal entry. Among those arrested were two individuals on Interpol's red notice list, he said. The first, he said, was a 27-year-old Chinese citizen identified only as Li, who was arrested for allegedly defrauding more than 400,000 victims out of 50 million baht via a mobile application. So yeah, guys, everything's getting tightened up. Everything's a bit uh, hectic. And due to the high season, uh, Thailand's becoming extremely popular. So you may experience some kind of delays when you arrive here. Now, yesterday I was booking uh, our family holiday and I noticed that all the hotel prices have gone up. We also looked at uh, the prices for the car rentals and even they've gone up. Even in Buriram, they was trying to charge us 1,500 baht per day for a standard car. Normally, the going rate is a 1,000 baht, and you can get a bit of a, a reduction on that cost, dependent on how long you're hiring the car for. So please be aware that the prices seem to be going back to normal here due to the high season and due to the amount of people that are coming into the country right now. Okay, now moving swiftly on to my visa situation. Now, I have a Thailand Elite visa, which is coming to an end in January. And I have a, uh, a son here in Thailand, so I can get a non-old family visa or dependent visa. So I mentioned it in the video that I posted yesterday. And some of you guys basically said that I should get in touch with like a visa company and get them to help me. Now, I don't normally do things like that because I know they're going to always charge me more than they need to. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a go. So I contacted a local company and gave them some information 
and then they went and did some digging and then they come back to me and what I'm about to tell you is quite shocking. So firstly, they basically told me that I can't get a non-O visa with a Thailand elite visa, I need a normal tourist visa. So I'm going to have to go to the border, stamp out and stamp back into Thailand on a 45 day visa and then they can deal with the non-O visa no problem. However, if um, I want this company to deal with everything for me, I don't have to worry about anything, I can apparently sit back and relax and they'll do the, the whole lot for me. But with saying that, I still need to get all the photos and the evidence and I have to give them all my information anyway. The only thing I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm presuming, is basically photocopying everything and liaising with the uh, immigration officer, that's it, which I don't mind doing anyway. But basically, for me to sit back and relax and for them to do everything to sort out my visa, they want to charge me $39,000 baht, which is absolutely redonkulous. Yeah, it's not ridiculous, it's redonkulous. I can't get my head around it. The only way I can think of, the only thing I can think of why they're trying to charge me 39,000 baht is that they know that I paid 500,000 baht for my Thailand elite visa. So the way they're looking at it is that if they help me get a 15 month non-O visa, then that's got to be worth at least 39,000 baht to me. No, it's not. It really, really isn't. I'm happy to run around uh, the city of Buriram all day to sort out all the stuff that the immigration officers need. Now, I know that it only costs about 1,900 or possibly 2,000 baht to apply for the non-O visa. I need three passport photos, which is going to cost me about 100 baht. Um, and I'm going to need to pay to photocopy all my stuff. Let's say that costs 500 baht for, for doing lots and lots of photocopying. I'm also going to need to go to Bangkok Bank, which is the bank that I have here in Thailand, in order to get a letter off them. Um, to update my, my book, my bank book, and possibly need to get bank statements off them, which is probably going to cost me around about 500 baht also. Now that all together, guys, is nowhere near 39,000 baht. Now, I've always believed you need to do things yourself because the companies here can just come up with so many different prices. It's unbelievable. It all depends on how green they think you are, how desperate they think you are in regards to what they charge you. That's my experience anyway. So I try to avoid them all at all costs, unless they have set prices for things and I can literally go, yeah, I want that price, I want that deal. Then I'm happy to deal with uh, companies like this. But when they can just come up with a random number off the top of their head, dependent on how much they think they can get out, out of you, it's a big no-no for me. So, but I thought I'd try it anyway. I thought I'd give it a go. I thought it'd be interesting to see what they have to say and definitely not for me. So instead, I'm gonna do the, the hard work myself. I'm gonna go to immigration and I'm gonna basically ask them, uh, show them my visa, ask them, do I need to go to the border or not? So we'll get that out of the way first of all. Um, and then I need to find out what they need from me. So I can go out then, get everything that they need and then bring it back to them and get it sorted and just do it myself. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but 39,000 baht is almost like a 1,000 pounds. Why the hell would I pay 1,000 pounds for a visa that costs 1,900 or 2,000 baht? Mental. And lastly, guys, we are going on our family holiday. Uh, we was going to go at Christmas time, but we've all decided we all need some kind of break. Um, it's been a very exhausting and tiring uh, last few months, and the family do need a, a bit of a rest. And I know I do. I've been non-stop seven days a week for quite a while now. Um, so it would be nice to take the family, especially my 15-month-old son, take him to the beach for the first time. Um, I think he's going to really, really enjoy himself. Now, the only scary thing is that I checked the weather and I checked the next five day forecast and apparently there's thunder and rain and all that kind of caper. So a little bit worrying, but normally in Thailand, you'll normally get scattered showers. This morning I went to the shop, I got absolutely drenched. It was throwing it down this morning with hard rain, but now 
it's a little bit cloudy but the sun's coming out so it's probably going to be like this when we go away so i'm really looking forward to it we're off to rayong um which i've not been to for i don't know two years i think and i really enjoy it there it's very different to Pattaya. Um, it's a lot cleaner. There's less uh, girls walking around with the fake boobs out because my son's still breastfeeding at 15 month old. And if he sees big Babylons um, while he's on holiday, he's going to be licking his lips and going absolutely crazy. I'm only joking, guys. It's a bit of lighthearted comedy, yeah, before I finish the video. But yeah, we're going to go there. Going to have some fun. I'm going to uh, vlog the experience, but also make sure that I relax and enjoy the holiday. But it's nice to share something different um, with the subscribers of the channel, especially people that have been following me for quite a while. I really do um, appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Um, I really do appreciate your feedback. And I really, really do appreciate how in the comments, the majority of the time, everybody's trying to help each other out and it is nice now and again we get the odd uh, argument or disagreement between uh, subscribers and stuff and it can be a little silly but remember don't get in too intense it's just youtube guys we try to be honest on the channel um but we are going to disagree with certain things certain stories that i present on the channel not everybody's going to enjoy it's impossible to make a video every day and make everybody happy with every single video and every single story that you present. It's never going to happen, not in a million years. Um, it'd be great if it did, but it's not going to. We have to uh, jump into reality somewhat. Uh, but try not to bicker amongst yourself, guys. It's really nice when you are all helping each other out with advice, etc. And if you're coming to Thailand now, just expect that the prices are all going back up. And it's going to be literally the same as pre-COVID times here in Thailand. So, this has been Thai Talk with Dan. And I'll catch up with you all again very soon. Ciao for now.